there is a, there is a spirit of renewal. I suppose given that yesterday was Easter Sunday, that, that is a, <laughs> that's probably a, a fortunate thing, but there's a, there's a key spirit of renewal in this community to be able to come back to normalcy. This has been the highlight um, for this normally sleepy district. And um, it really showcases the talent and brings people to St. Joseph, which is what we want. And this is something that you like, I guess, is an entrepreneurial set of this that creates a bit of commerce as well. Yeah, it does, it does. And um, we're really hoping to, to do more of that. From talking to these parcel type players, I've had several meetings with them. They actually want to use this location um, almost on a monthly basis, also to generate some economic activity. Um, but this event really is, is what started the whole thing and I think it allowed them to recognize the tremendous potential that this, this village has and um, I look forward to supporting them in all their endeavors. And at this year, there's also that, that there are a lot more elements than in previous years and you have the chairs and, 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 and different, well, different well, elements. You know, when you, when, you, when you start afresh, you want to, you really want to leave an impact. So, um, Ren very kindly sponsored, Ren Buffett very kindly sponsored um, a lot of the music and entertainment from his company to get links. And um, we're hoping that that we will get a lot more interest from the community going forward. And let me say the community only is the St. Joseph community. I think as you look around and look at some of these car numbers, we would come from St. Philip, which is St. James. Uh, this brings back a part of Barbados that sadly has been allowed to die. As a little boy, I remember the big kites playing at the garrison. But really, kite playing seems now to have taken the back seat to so many things. I think having this, Again, to create interest in indigenous art and indigenous culture. I, I saw a spring is two out of kite playing uh, last week, and every kite was a bad kite. I thought to myself, it's a nice effort, but what a shame that every kite that was there wasn't made by our local hands, it was bought out of a store in town. So, this is going to point us back in the right direction, I hope. I would like like a, maybe like a, a clinic or I, I, I would like very much if that would happen and I, I hope that the NCF will, will seize the opportunity. But we haven't lost it. I mean as you drive around you still see people selling face kites. And for those people who um, are annoyed at night by the sound of the bull, you know, and then pricing come on the store. There is there is local talent that the good side of that is to be able to, to up a kite and make a kite up and have it playing all night requires a level of creativity. But too many of our children I fear are are, are being directed to the quick back kite culture. And you know, I think it'd be a great pity if we lost that.